and today's video is going to be this 20s flapper inspired makeup look for Halloween. I really, really had fun doing this one. I really wanted to do like a real big avant-garde flapper inspired look and I feel like I pulled it off great and yeah I really am happy with this look so if you want to know how I did this 20s flapper inspired makeup then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is brush through my hair this is my natural bed hair so it's kind of a bit of a mess so I do need to brush for it to make sure that it's nice and sleek and soft so we can do the hairstyle. Next I'm going to add a really deep side part in my hair because I think that looks best. So I'm going to go right here and that's going to be my side parting. Once we've sectioned the hair, I'm just going to go through with a comb and I'm going to work on this side first. I've got a little spray bottle here with some water in it. I'm just going to wet the hair just on the roots area. I'm not doing it mid lumps and ends. I'm also going to section out a tiny piece of hair here because I feel like this looks really cute when I do that swirl design and um, one around the middle I'm going to take these two little pieces, twist them together and just pull them over here for now, I know it's going to look weird then I'm going to take the wax and this is the Nishman hair styling wax, the gold one so I'm just taking a generous amount, rubbing that together and then just pulling that through the hair so I'm sectioning this to the ear and this is the piece of hair that I'm going to work with all this section so throw that rest of the hair behind and then this is what I'm going to work with brush this section you want to take the point of the comb and brush it forward then you want to take it and hold it there pin it and carefully without pulling it so I'm holding the section and doing another one hold your finger right at the front and then pull back again and again a pin down and then leave this piece down for later and then with your hair at the back you want to make that into a tight bun so you're left with this bun at the back and then these little curls here this piece down and then you have this side piece of hair here. So once we've done the hair, we're just going to leave that to set. I'm moving straight onto the face. So now I'm using the PS My Perfect Colour Double Coverage Matte Foundation. And then with my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into the skin. Then I'm going to move on to my collection Sheer Loose Powder. This one is in Translucent 2. With this powder, I'm just going to set where my contour line would be. But I'm not going to go on the cheekbones because I want to do a highlight, dewy look. So I want to go for like a glowy product that's wet. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this powder on the bottom lower half of my face. Also a little bit on the forehead here too much just a little bit while I'm at this stage I'm going to go ahead and do my contours I'm taking the NARS Laguna bronzer and with this I'm just going to add my contour in bring it back into the hairline I'm going to skip blush today but I'm going to move straight on to my highlighter so this is the MUA Luxe Glow Beam Liquid Highlight Cushion and with this I'm just going to take the little powder puff it comes with and then just press down on that liquid cushion gently just dab that over the cheekbone so now that's dried down a bit I'm taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer with this I'm going to take a fan brush and I'm just going to Dust that over the highlight. Now I'm going to move on to the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. With this, I'm going to go all over the lid space, all the way up to the brow. And 
Next I'm going to take my MAC pigment and this one is in the shade Silver Fog and I'm going to put this on quite high around the face. Around the eyebrow, I know it's going to look weird at first but just trust the process. Go round to the outer corner of the eye. It kind of goes like an upside down U shape. Blend the edges a little bit. They're not so harsh. Next I'm taking the P. Louise Base Badder Black Base. So it's the black version. Pop some of this on the back of my hand, like so. And then with this I'm taking the Acid Rain Brush, the flat brush. With this I'm going to go right onto the inner corner of the eye. Like so. And then curl it up and go over the eyebrows. Like so. To the outer corner of the lid. And I'm going to do like a halo eye. So I'm going to separate into like a triangle. And all that space is going to be silver. And I just want to fill out the outer corner. No, it doesn't make sense right now. But stick with it. And then whatever you've got left on your brush, you want to go underneath the lash line, connect it up. Then I'm moving on to the James Charles palette and I'm going to take the eyeshadow called Spooky. And with this, I'm going to go over all that black base, just to set that in place. And then I'm taking the eyeshadow called Benny and that's going around the edge of the black just to blend that in. Just kind of pat to blend. Blend that again so the edges aren't so sharp. Apply that underneath the lower lash line. So I want it to be a smooth graduate and not like a harsh line. Do that all the way around the edges. And in the center, I'm taking this from Il Masca, which is the liquid metal in the shade Surge. So this is like a gunmetal silver shade. And then place that down in the center of the eye. It doesn't have to be neat. And just blend and fan out the edges. And over top of that base, I'm going to go back to the MAC pigment in the shade Silver Fog. And then just apply that on top. Going back to the Illa Masca, and I'm going to use this on my waterline. At this stage, I'm gonna go and draw on my little eyebrow now. So this is gonna be a very exaggerated brow. So I'm gonna take the Acid Rain Angle Brush and I'm picking up the eyeshadow from the Morphe palette, which is called Spooky. And with this, I'm going to almost create like a Betty Boop eyebrow. So curved up, round, and then out, if that makes sense. And then just to make that a little bit more pigmented, I'm going to go over it again with the Carter Beauty Gel Liner and less shiny looking. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. So I'm taking the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. And 
I'm going to add a little beauty mark on the top lip because I feel like that's very 20s theme. So I'm going to go back to the Carter Beauty gel liner. I'm going to use the end of a little brush so I can just literally twist and make the little beauty mark. Next, I want to move on to my lip liner. This is the MAC lip liner in strip down. And with this, I'm going to just outline my lips, but curve it round to make it very doll-like. To fill in the lips, I'm taking this from Urban Decay. This is the Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Blackmail. And with this, I'm just going to fill in the lips. And then last but not least is lashes. So I'm gonna do a double lash just to make it even more extreme. So these big lashes are gonna go on top and then these little ones underneath. Just, so I'm taking the Just Right Beauty Unforgettable Lashes and the Fern McCann Brooklyn Glam in the glamorous lashes. So I've popped the lashes on and I've taken out as many pins as I could. And, and now I've taken these little, little pieces down. I'm gonna go ahead and wax these and then bend them and attach them around the face. Taking the first little one, making sure it's wet. Then take some wax. And then I'm going to wax that down. So I'm going to go in with my little pearls and these are like a little nail art wheel with some tiny little pearls. I'm going to take the um, medium sized ones and just put one on the inner corner of my eyes. And then for more little touches I also have this little beaded cape that you just put around your shoulders and it looks really 20s flapper with the beads. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. I actually found this from my local charity shop so I had to buy this when I saw it. It was only like £3. And that just completes the whole look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to film. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and put some gloves on, but I'm not going to because I feel like this is just a look on its own. So again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.